Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Name. It's me, Ella, and today I'm talking about all my Halloween decorations. Hey guys, today I'm talking about all my Halloween decorations that I have laying around. I've got them all piled up here. That's why they're not up there anymore. <laughs> but I've had a couple people ask about some of the older ones that I've made uh, about their patterns. So I just thought I would get them all together and talk about them all at once. So first we'll talk about the elephant in the room, which is the Halloween <laughs> green square afghan that I just finished. I just finished this a few weeks ago, maybe. I can't remember when. It's been a while. It is the Halloween granny square afghan. <laughs> by Maria's Blue Crown. It is a paid for pattern on Ravelry, but if you go to her website, which is mariasbluecrown.com, it is free. It is split up because it was a crochet along, but the whole pattern is there for free. The next one is this cute little ghost. <laughs> Show you him. I made this last year. This one is called Halloween Ghost <laughs> by Emma Groomy today. It is a free pattern on their website. His little bow tie's crooked. He's super cute. He's made in one, his body is like a marshmallow shape, and then you add this little ghosty part later. You know, he's just got cute little arms and legs and boots, a little top hat. I love this little guy. He sits over by my TV usually the last two years since he's been alive, been existing. The next one is my Vampire, Vampire Amigurumi by Mary Smith. It is a paid for pattern on Ravelry. I just finished him last week and he's not 100% the way he's supposed to be. There are, you, in the pattern, there's two layers to his cape. You can make the outside black and the inside usually it's like to match his colors here. And then buttons, but I didn't put buttons on there because Jesse would just tear them off. And I didn't put fangs just because I didn't want to creep Jesse out too bad. But yeah, I think he's super cute too. Some people have asked how I stabilized his head. He's got a, about a six inch dowel sticking into his body and his head just to help keep it from being all floppy. This one is the Frankenstein Rag Doll by Maria's Blue Crown again. <laughs> this was uh, part of a crochet along, but it's just a little rag doll. So he's two panels put together and then he's got arms and legs and his eyes are added. But yeah, he's super cute. He's a free pattern on her website. Super cute and quick. This I made in like a day, not even a whole day obviously, but you know, like a setting, I made him really fast. Probably could have finished him in one, you know, just sitting there working on for a few hours straight, but I think I took, it took me a couple settings to finish him. But he's super fast and super cute. Okay, the next two I'm gonna have to add a clip to because they're hanging in a way I don't wanna take them down because then I have to put them back up and it'd be annoying. The first one is Ghostly Garland by Stitches in Scraps. <laughs> uh, it's just this really cute uh, granny square ghost pattern to make a garland with and it is free on their website. The other one hanging up there is two patterns put together. Uh, the wreath form and the little bat is the Halloween Bat Wreath by Sarah Zimmerman. It is free on her website. And the little spider is called Sid the Spider and it's a free pattern by Lucy Coates on Ravelry. This one was uh, also part of a crochet along I've done recently. He's got a really long scarf. Um, it's super cute. It's called the Black Cat Stuffy by the Underground Crafter. It is free on her website also. Super cute little cat. And it's got a cute little face. I love his little face. But yeah, he's super cute and he usually sits on the mantle too. These next two are kind of old. I made these last year. And uh, so some of you, if you've been here long enough, you've either seen them last year and then also this year. So that's pretty cool. But the first one is Bat in a Pumpkin by Mary Smith. He's missing his pumpkin. I have no idea where it's at. Jesse took off with it. <laughs> but uh, it's just a cute little amigurumi bat and he usually has like a hollow pumpkin that he sets in. And it is a paid for pattern by Mary Smith, but it's super cute. I'm just realizing his head is extremely crooked. Last year is when I got really into making amigurumi. So a lot of my, I made, I made a lot of amigurumis last year and they were like my first ones, you know, the first hardcore ones. But he's super cute, I think. And he's got little feet. And this next one, I get a lot of questions about this. He's a very popular pattern apparently. And he is one of my favorite um, patterns that I've ever really made really. And he's especially one of my favorite Halloween decorations. And it is this little guy. He's really blown out because he's uh, in glowworm. So he's like a really bright green. But this is Frog on a Pumpkin, also by Mary Smith. It is a paid for pattern. His little hat rolls up a little bit. But he is super adorable little frog, just chilling on a pumpkin. He's got uh, warts all over him. 
the pumpkin is really cute too I think and the pattern he has a little spider hanging down but Jesse tore that off last year and I have no idea where it's at it probably doesn't even exist anymore but he is super duper 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 cute I love this this is one of my favorite projects I've ever made really hello he's so cute he is a paid for pattern but he's totally worth it because he's adorable let's look at him and a lot of people have asked me about this one a lot of people like this and I can see why because he's awesome <laughs> That is all of the current Halloween uh, things that I've crocheted. I'm pretty sure, I'm looking around, I think I got everything together. Uh, I'm sure by next year I'll have more. So, uh, and especially by the time we get a house and move out of this apartment, because I'll have a lot more space to decorate. So if you're interested in any of these patterns, all their links will be in the description box below and check them out. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you think someone else will like it, share it. Subscribe if you're not, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. Thank you.